Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Marcus. Hi, I'm Ryan. And together, we are the Northwest Sports Fanatics. Back at you guys with a, a new reaction video. This time, it, it, it's to the Ducks versus the Arizona State Sun Devils from last night. Right, crazy game last night. Uh, definitely one of the most competitive games all weekend long. Well, you can you can definitely see the uh, the, the potential is, is there. A lot of young players for, for the Ducks right now, it, it looks like to me. Charles Nelson not being there, oh, that, 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 that was, was huge, uh, obviously, with the outcome of the game. Uh, but let's get right to it. All right, let's check out some of these highlights. Um, shout out to Devo Highlights Presents uh, for the highlight package that he set up. Uh, I'm going to put the original link uh, down below. Y'all go check him out. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. All right, so here we got Manny Wilkins, quarterback for Arizona State. They started driving on the Ducks pretty easily. The D-line looked very weak um, right from, really, from the gate. Yeah, besides jokes, I, I don't really see any real impact players there. Um, but somewhere down the line, if it's going to be a good season for the Ducks, the, the D-line going to have to come and play. All right, so Oregon rebounds. Nice little touchdown fade there, pass. Who is that, Mr. Mitchell? Yeah. That is Mitchell. Yeah. Nice nice pass by Aber. Yeah, Dylan Mitchell, we need him to really step up this year, especially if Nelson's going to be gone for a good chunk of the season. Why call him Aber? Right. <laughs> here we got a little highlight here. Herbert back with the fade. Great pass. Yeah, nice back shoulder throw. Uh. Use his hands. All, all you young kids out there, use your hands. There's Arizona State on their second drive. Nice play call. That's too easy. There's that guy. There's that guy. Well, I'm, I, I got a feeling we'll see a lot more of him. Yeah. Nikhil Harry? Yeah, Nikhil Harry and Jalen Harvey for Arizona State. They definitely bodied up the Ducks last night. Ooh. Down okay, the well, that's the one where he broke the record, too, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, 15 carries, 81 yards, one TD for Royce, but he struggled all game, just like the offensive line did. Um, he didn't really have his typical – Three touchdown, 150 yards, 160 yard game. Uh, nice blocking on this play right here. Look at that cut oh, block right there. Nice Ooh, block. right. Took the guy's ankles out, and that was a nice little tiptoe to the end zone. Why would you want to dance when you got a, a voice? Right. Voice. Look at that. Too nice easy. Pass wide open. I don't know if that was a wheel route or, or not, but they're, they're receivers on Arizona State. Nikhil Harry and Jalen Harvey. They're just too much. I like Graham. It, he just seems like a, a, a little young. He just needs yeah. some, some seasoning. Right, freshman. Nice little run there by the, the quarterback. And dual threat, Manny Wilkins. Well, maybe Lenny Wilkins' son. I'm not sure. but And then right there with the Ducks. Two guys is running into each other. Who's that, T.O.? Man. See, that's disappointing. They, they, they took each other out of the play right there. Nikhil Harry just bodied him. He came to play last night, man. Yeah, he did. Nice little run up the middle. Look at the effort right there. See, that's what I, that's what the Ducks needed last night, that little extra effort, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, playing all, on the road is a little bit different than at home. The Sun Devils was, was the more desperate team. Absolutely, especially being one and two. They needed this win, but so did the Ducks. I mean, if you wanted to, to kind of stay up with right. the rankings of Washington and Washington State. They didn't seem quite ready, you know. Um, it, the Sun Devils are one of the middle to the to the lower teams right. in, in terms of, a, of their ranking in the Pac-12. Um, it's tough to, to to beat, you know, good teams on the road. But when you're trying to be a good team and you want to be Ooh. a great team, you have to be good teams. On the right. Road. Nice catch. Right. Tony Burks James on that touchdown. The last one was Johnny Johnson the third with a nice open touchdown. Ooh, spin move. I believe that's Jacob Breland for the Ducks tight end. Ducks always got a nice little sneaky good tight end right. coming out the cut somewhere. Don't really utilize them as much as they probably should, but obviously with the Charles Nelson wide receiver running back injury was huge, so they had to kind of change the game plan up. Oh. Herbert, use that 6'6 six, six body, he, right? Use the truck stick on that one. Right. He's 6'6"? Six, 6'6". Six? Six, six. Six, wow. five, six, six, reportedly. He looks pretty tall. I see the improvement from this year to last year, yeah. man. Y'all sleep if y'all won. I, I do think he could be a probably – first or second round pick in the NFL a couple of years. He might need to stay all four, though. Yeah, all four, I would think, just to get the experience. The but talent he, is there, though. You yeah. can see the talent. Yeah. All right, Ruiz with the, the field goal to put him up on that lead right there. And that was kind of the, the, the end of it of it right there. Right. Ducks, had a, Ducks had a chance to come back, and then they kind of screwed it up, and then they, you know, 
got that one last chance, you know, to, to go for it on, on the, you know, obviously the, the last run of the game to see if they right. could win. And, and he came up a little short a little, on the first down. Uh, right. And then if you think about it, I mean, they just had bad play calling. And then at the end, Herbert tried to, to scramble for the first down, right. you know, towards the end in those drives, and it just wasn't enough. But To me, what I've seen, the, the Ducks like that. They missing that game changer that that they used to have in that DeAnthony Tom, Charles you know, Nelson, you know Charles Nelson. Right. They was definitely missing that last night. Um, like you said, Jacob Breland four for ninety five. Dylan Mitchell five uh, receptions for sixty one yards, one TD. Uh, uh, you can see the potential. The Ducks do. You can tell they have a young team. A lot of sophomore and freshmen out there getting uh, valuable playing time right now. Right. But when your biggest options right now at wide receiver are Johnny Johnson, the third, Dylan Mitchell, and then Tony Brooks James as a running back at <laughs> wideout, I mean, you're kind of fucked. You know what I mean? Like, you need some more weapons, especially Royce Freeman. If he doesn't right. have his Royce Freeman typical game of getting 150 yards, 160 yards, two, three TDs, that puts a lot of pressure on the play calling, right? And obviously with the rest of the players to step up, and we just didn't have enough. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, the D-line played horrible in the first half. Real but Jalen Jelks, he's showing he's how good guy, he is. He, he's showing that he's NFL right out the gates. D-lineman, eight tackles, three sacks, five tackles for loss. You don't see numbers like that besides maybe Armstead, Nada. Buckner. Some, right, Buckner, some of the guys we've had in the past. Troy Dime, obviously seven tackles. You know, he's, he's NFL as well. You know, still young, but he still has a couple years to go. And then even though Thomas Graham Jr., the freshman corner, got bodied, uh, eight tackles at the corner position. But a lot of those tackles were like on Nikhil Harry, 6'4", where you just weren't big enough to, to make the stops down. Yeah, so. yeah he's, he's just had a tough night, man. Welcome to the Pac-12, man. I'm pretty sure that's, that's not the only big body receiver he's going to face. Just take it as a learning experience, right? right? Like I said, there's a lot of freshmen and sophomore getting valuable playing time right now. So probably at this point with that huge win, I mean, now Arizona State go again, maybe getting to 500 at the end of the season is going to be attainable. And as far as the Ducks are concerned, you know, those dreams of going nine and three and ten and two are pretty much over. And then now you got a real tough competitive game uh, against Cal at home for your home opener and Eugene for your Ducks. Um, Kyle played pretty good against that Very good. Too. They only had a couple bonehead turnovers, but, I mean, they played tough. Right. I mean, and it looked for a while in that game up to maybe like the third quarter before the mistakes happened that they had a legitimate chance against USC. Mm -hmm. And I think USC isn't necessarily the best team in the Pac-12. UW is like kind of like right there. There's a lot of teams that are – you know, the, the separation between the weapons on both teams is pretty minimal. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure if it's a clear cut. Well, USC is the best team. They may have the record right now. But unless the Ducks and some of these other teams, Washington, Washington State, um, if they can, you know, put their shit together, have less injuries, you know what I mean, and have some better play calling, maybe we can compete. All right. So there you guys have it. Uh, Northwest Sports Fanatics reaction video to the, to the Ducks. Heartbreaking loss last night. Like the fight, like the effort. You got to do a little bit more. We'll continue to get right. better and better. All right, ten game win streak the Ducks had. Three and one record now. Do two and two Arizona State. This is the first win for Arizona State since two thousand four. All right, so we'll be back at you guys real soon with a new video. Um, shout out to LG sixteen edits. Uh, thanks for the for the advice. Um, we're learning, man. We, we, we trying to get this going, trying to give you guys the, the sports news that you can relate to. Um, again, shout out to Devo Highlights for, for the clip, for the highlight package. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Anything you want to say, bro? Man, tough game last night. Yeah, real real tough game, but we'll be back at it. Got an even uh, a tougher one next week yeah. uh, versus Cal. I'm Marcus. This is Orion. Only got one question for y'all. Who you know talks sports like us? Northwest Sports Fanatics. Get your hand out my pocket. <laughs>